So AI might be at the point of making edits really easy, consistent edits, great skin tones, professional, cohesive feed. And that's what we're going over today is AI at the point where it can give you really nice edits much, much faster. We're looking at Imagine and previously Imagine you had to upload 3000 photos that you had edited for the AI software to start learning to edit your photos. But now there is a new feature where all that we need is a preset and answer a few questions and we can start to customize the style and the AI can learn how we edit. So this video is going to be completely different to any other AI video because we have hundreds of styles to play with because of the guest editors we have. So we're going to be testing these images here, giving the software a preset and seeing what it does with all these edits and if they're better than the edits that we currently have on them. So we're going to be going through all these and we're going to be applying a preset, letting Imagine do the AI analyzation and seeing what results we get. Now there's a few things like over time, the AI will get better and better at knowing the edits you like, whether that's denoise, white balance, overexposed, underexposed, the preferences you have. So the more time goes on, the better these edits will get. So the images we're going to be working with, are, these are guest editors in my course. So we have all these amazing images with really good edits to them. And we have two folders. So one folder is uh, kind of landscapes, a bit more moodier tones. And then we have one other collection here also from the guest editors but this is more like wedding vibes because this is probably the main scenario this ai editing software uses it can edit thousands of photos very 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 fast for you so in the imagine software you are going to add profile we're going to use this new feature here light personal ai profile so in just a few minutes upload a preset answer a few questions so what i'm going to do is Say maybe you've bought presets or you've got some edits you really like already. You can, what you want to do, say we love the final edit of this image. We can, so we can come to presets plus create preset, save everything and we can call it AI preset one, create. Okay, so now we need to put this preset over into Imagine. So we're gonna come here um, show on finder here we have it here and we are going to drag it and we are going to drag the preset we just made into here AI preset one next choose your exposure preference slightly overexposed uh, maybe in the middle here in the middle temperature so this is all personal temperature still tint in the middle tint um i'm gonna go right in the middle tint magenta tones in the middle build profile so for this profile i'll choose wedding now we need to upload a catalog so we want the most recent catalog so this one here but it's open so what we're just going to do is close quit and now let's upload this catalog and i'm going to choose a collection i find that the easiest way the one we wanted was this one where it had uh, marcella jolanda and josh the guest editors images so I really like these ones and you can choose if you want the image to be auto cropped or auto straighten horizon or mask subject. I've seen in previous tutorials these work quite well, especially the straighten horizon it can be a real time saver. And I'm going to hit upload. So now we're just going to give it some time while it loads, download to review and we're just going to download it into the same catalog, download edit. So we will open in Lightroom. Okay, so it has reapplied that preset and tried to re-edit uh, our images. 
but remember it's taking into account the white balance that we selected when we were answering those questions we're going to make some adjustments now and just show you how close we really can get with just a few adjustments so in those questions maybe i maybe said too often overexposed or white balance and i think that looks great and we're going to go over all these other ones so just darken it a bit i think that's good darken by the looks um but with a little play with with a few of these I think we're getting kind of close I'd want more grain in this image uh, this one looks great but I think just for style reasons maybe a bit warmer and play with the tint maybe a bit more green exposure down colors look Head muddy, but contrast down, and I think it gets that real, real common weeding look pretty fast. Um, maybe some vibrance to help those colors punch through. Um, right, let's warm it up. Colors to punch through, but uh, a bit dark. Maybe a touch to green. Yeah, so huge variety here. Let's warm this one up. Punch through. Yeah, so we've got quite a few images here. Um, let's try this one. Just try this. Yeah, I am pretty happy with the results, to be honest. Um, um, we didn't adjust that one. And yeah, they all looked pretty good. This one... And what we do have is the settings from the guest editors. So if I hit, um, yeah, backslash. So this was before AI did it. This was what we had from the guest editor. Um, how they edited it. And then this was AI's version. So there's more green tones in the original guest editor edit by Masala and then the AI preset was a bit more darker tones um, yeah we'll just go through a bunch of them this one was pretty darn close it's just missing it's missing the green a lot of the time so you can see that there's a lot of greens here in the shadows and yeah, it still looks good, but we can bring back some greens in the shadows, especially color grading, by just making it more of a yellow. And maybe playing with the blending and the warmth. And the curves definitely played a big role in this image, I'm sure. So greens and the mids and stuff and if you worked with them long enough you get those get that green tone back especially in the shadows i think this one is a little brown i definitely could use with some green tones yeah something like that so this was uh josh josh ball images edit from within the course i really really like his edit and then this one is the, the yeah that very classic uh, wedding wedding look. Desaturate. Uh, 
What's up? Yeah, it depends uh, the the mood you're going for. Um, and then I'd maybe bring up the oranges, uh, saturation. So I was pretty happy with these. I remember Jolanda used, like I said, curves pretty strongly. Um, these really subtle adjustments, but so you can see we just added that bit of green in the in the bottom there, and it looks really nice. Uh, more grain in that one. Um, and yeah, if we hit backslash, this was Jolanda's edit within the course. And that is the AI's edit. So we are going to do a, exactly what we did before, but we're going to do it with more landscape. Okay, so for example, we've got a few images from uh, Ricardo here. So he has a really green and blue split to his images. So if you can see it, there's a little, um, bit of blue, strong blue strong blue greens really strong and blue greens uh mitchell here who has really strong warm tones and green tones um this could go really well as well so what we'll do is just go create preset uh, not the masks so that's something uh, these guest editors do a really good job of putting masks in that really really level up your editing as well here's before and after of all the masking so we don't have that we're not giving that to the ai software to work with so that's why these images probably look edited better as well okay so now we need to open up ai and we're going to make a new profile now i exposure temperature tint i don't really have any preference so let's just go to the middle for every single one okay let's download and review trying to use the preset that we used with um mitchell because he had a great edit this one this was his edit and we took this preset yeah we can get a similar result if we play around and edit so his style is really warm because in the questions we answered like neutral um on all of them but if you just come in and you increase the warmth and you make sure the oranges uh color mix you make sure the oranges stand out which is very key for his style um, i'll also put a link to mitchell's presets if you want and then there's a lot of brushes this this image is missing because that was the mitchell's original and this is this one so it's a bit hard to make the subject pop like we did. Um, so let's go over here. So this is Ricardo. Bit of playing around, we can get a bit closer. Something quite balanced. Yeah, and then you want lots of fit, like, um, yeah, it's, it's hard to show you these amazing edits and then going to this one because of those filters do play such a big role. Um, and I would want more blues probably throughout this. And this one should play quite nicely. So let's, um, let's drop, let's warm it up. Um, that preset must not have lots of saturation for the oranges. Bring up highlights, exposure. We're starting to get there. But look, this, this one in particular had heaps of uh, brushes and filters. this is its very first go of putting a random preset i didn't know how these were going to turn out so this was uh benny bystorm's edit within the course very subtle edit he used and then this is the one we've got here again we probably want some sort of filter coming up i'd go with less contrast exposure um i want to soften this image quite a bit 
Yeah, I think that looks great. This edit here is Kiara's edit, and I really like her soft style, faded style, cool, really cool tones. So she's got really cool tones, soft, faded out. Um, those blacks are quite lifted. Um, yeah, take down saturation. Just looks a little bit muddy here for some reason. I don't know why. Contrast, perhaps, and then exposure. Vibrance. Saturation down. This is Cam's. Again, like, Cam had a completely different style to Mitch's, I'd say. So, um, when you add Mitch's style like here, very blue. So, this is Cam from within the course. She's actually gonna, she's in the process of making some more. It's just gonna be a very different it actually looks great i actually quite like that and it's not real different it's actually very filmic i actually really like that but this is a great edit here this is benny by storm storms edit from within the course also love this edit because it's very minimal and this is what we've got now i think it's almost equally as good so i really see the strengths of this software being People that want to edit a lot of photos, so obviously wedding photographers, even for like straightening horizon, horizons and stuff, I think it's just a huge time saver. If people that already are happy with their style and just wish to keep that style and just keep it consistent. Another big strength of the software is that it's giving you Lightroom settings to adjust. It doesn't bake in your edit. Another strength is that it gets better over time. So over time and even when the software improves itself the more time you give it the better and better your results can be thousands way way faster than anyone could manually do it so the limits of the software is that it doesn't teach you exactly why uh, how to work with color it tries to make the adjustments for you for you but if you still don't know how these tools work you won't be able to uh, break away from the tech or develop your own style because you'll just be repeating one style and you won't know how to develop that into your own style and slowly let it evolve and take on its own style and have your own style so it gives you great results but personally youtube channel and my course is all about is about learning editing very in depth so you can take control of lightroom and really manipulate the style you want imagine give you 1500 free edits if you use the link down below so in this video i've been referencing imagine's light profile option so they would still recommend using their classic ai personal ai profile so that's if you have the 3000 photos to work with but the light option is great for those that don't have a thousand consistently edited photos and what you need for the light profile is a preset so i used a photo in this example and copied and pasted the settings you might need a complete preset to do this and you can't just grab any photo you find on the online it has to be a preset so all you need is your favorite preset answer a few questions and you're good to go rather than having three thousand consistently edited images even though that is what imagine and recommend and what gets the best result and when uploading 3000 images it only takes 24 hours for imagine to create the profile and on top of that imagine offer and they're the only company that does this that have other creators that have uploaded their profiles that you can use already so maybe you don't want to go through all that process to start off with well you can come over to talent ai profiles and you can choose from talented photographers and use their profiles on your images straight away so maybe get started with this and then get into trying to build your own profiles check out the free training if you haven't seen that already all about how to go further in depth into your editing and understanding color so you really can build the style you want make the tweaks you want and actually understand all the reasons for our adjustments rather than just using presets so okay that's it for this one and catch you next one